Hello, my name is Dean L. Hoss and today I'm going to teach you how to put together a trial balance. If you remember, we learnt in the last video tutorial how to balance off an account based upon the accounting concept of dual aspect, which states that for every credit entry out of a bank account, there has to be a debit entry into a another account. In this case, on the 30th of May, we paid our staff wages of $1,000 that left our bank account on the credit side and entered into our wages T account on the debit side. Now, because for every debit entry there also has to be a corresponding credit entry, it holds true mathematically that if you added up all the debit balances brought down, this should equal all the credit entries brought down. Imagine a scale where all the debit entry balances brought down were added to the left side of the scale and all the credit entry balances brought down to the right hand side of the scale, then the debit and credit total balance should equal each other, providing you have followed the accounting concept of dual aspect and you've completed a debit entry for every credit entry. If we look at the bank account here in this example, we can see that the credit side is a total of 1,400 and on the debit side you have a total of 2,500 which means the balance carried down on the 31st of May is going to be 1,100 and the balance brought down on the opposite side of the carry down figure is going to be 1,100. The trial balance is a picture of all the assets, capital, liabilities and drawings at a point in time, which is why the trial balance is as at the end of the financial year, in this case the 31st of December. So the trial balance itself is simply a list of all the balances brought down. We can see the balance brought down in the bank account is 1,100 and we would simply write the title of the T account, which in this case is bank, and the balance brought down on the debit side of the trial balance. If we look at the sales account, we can see that on the credit side there is 7,000. The balance carried down to balance both sides would have also been 7,000 on the debit side, which means that the balance brought down on the credit side would have been 7,000. So what do we do with that balance on the credit side? We simply transfer it onto the credit side of our trial balance using the title of the T account, which in this case is sales. So how do I know which balances bought down go on the debit side and which go on the credit side? Well, there are two ways of approaching this. You can either memorize them or you can use the rule DAX LIC. Basically, DAX stands for debtors, D, assets, A, and expenses is given the symbol of X. All DAX T accounts, the balance bought down will be on the debit side. LIC stands for L, liabilities, I, income, i.e. revenue or sales, and C, capital. All the LIC items go on the credit side as a balance brought down. So, if you added together the balances brought down on the debit side of the trial balance, the assets, expenses and drawings total should equal all the balances brought down on the right hand side of the trial balance, the liabilities, capital and revenue, providing you have made a debit entry for every credit entry in the T accounts and you have followed the accounting rule of dual aspect. Here you can see the trial balance example that we referred to earlier. On the left hand side you would have all the balances brought down of the bank, wages account, cash account, purchases, vehicles and debtors. And when you add it together, all the debit balances brought down, you would have a total of $107,000. If you place that on the 
debit side of your scales and you then added together all the balances bought down on the credit side of your trial balance. In other words, your capital, your sales, and your creditors in this case, you would also find that the total would add up to 107,000 on the credit side of your trial balance. If the trial balance balances, as it does in this case, with a total number of 107,000, it proves that we have followed the accounting concept of dual aspect, which is to say that for every debit on the left-hand side of the T account, a corresponding opposite credit entry has been made in another T account on the credit side. Remember, this doesn't prove that you have not made an error of original entry, such as entering $100 instead of 1000 because if you had incorrectly entered $100 on the debit and the credit side of the two T accounts, the trial balance would still balance incorrectly. The trial balance simply proves that you have made a debit entry for every credit entry that has been made in another T account. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait around for the next tutorial to load up in the playlist. Remember you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and please do hit the like button.